Hey guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Male Fantasy by Billie Eilish, which is a cool acoustic track. Now for the basics, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you will need a capo on the seventh fret of your guitar. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve any guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start with the verse and there's two lines of chords here. We're gonna start with a C add nine chord, like that. And then we're gonna to go to a G chord. And then we'll go to a D. And then an E minor seven chord. So from this D chord, just pivot around your ring finger, put your pinky finger on the third fret of the first string. And then index and middle will go on the second fret of the fifth and fourth strings. So that's E minor seven. So that's it for the first line of chords. The second line of chords is identical, except we're playing the D chord for two bars. Now the strumming pattern here is gonna be really simple. It's just down, down, up, down, up, or one and two and three and four and. You play that once for each chord and the intro slash verse. Now that's the most basic way of playing it, but we can add some embellishments here as well to make it sound closer to the original. The first embellishment occurs on the G chord. So what we do on the first down strum is hammer on our index finger into place. So we start with that index finger lifted, but after you strum it, you just hammer it on. So the G chord. The next embellishment occurs on the D chord. So the third D chord of each line of chords to be exact. So with this D chord, on the highlighted up strums here, we can put our pinky finger down on the third fret of the first string, only on those highlighted up strums. So it's D sus four on those strums. So down, down, up, down, up. So you just momentarily put your pinky finger down for those strums. Down, down, up, down. And that only occurs for the third chord of each line of chords. So with those embellishments, this is what the intro and verse sounds like. Next we get to the chorus, which is really nice and simple. There's just two lines of chords. Now we have an A minor, and then an E minor, a D, and then a C chord. For the second line of chords, it's almost identical, except we're playing two Ds, not a D and a C. We're using that same strumming pattern that we had in the verse. Now for that final D chord though, we are shortening the strumming pattern. So it's just down, down, and then holding it out for the rest of the bar. So the chorus in total. Next we get to the post chorus and post chorus is three lines of chords here. Now there's no strumming pattern here, we're just strumming each chord once and holding them out. But the chord changes here are quick. So the first line of chords we have E minor seven, then a D slash F sharp. So from this shape, we'll just move our index finger up one string to the second fret of the sixth and middle finger goes to the second fret of the third string. So that's that D slash F sharp. Now when we strum these chords, you only need to really focus on the top three or four strings. You won't be strumming all the strings, just focus on those bass notes. 
So E minor seven, D slash F sharp, G, then G slash B. So it's the same as a G, but we only focus our efforts from the fifth string onwards. We don't hit that sixth string. So one and two and three and four and... And then we go to our C add nine and hold that out for a full bar. So the first line of chords. That first line of chords is repeated through twice. And then for the second line of chords, we start off the same way, except for the second bar with the C add nine, we then go back down to a G slash B back up to a CR9 and then a D chord. So that second bar, one, two, three, four. And the second line of chords in total. Then for the third line of chords, we hit an E minor, hold that out for a full bar and then D for a full bar. So that's it for the post-chorus, really nice and easy, which will sound like this. And that's it for the post-chorus. Now there's a break after the first chorus and it's just the first line of the intro slash verse. So the C add nine, the G, the D, and the E minor seven. So we're just cutting out that second line of chords from the verse. And the break just sounds like this. And those are all the parts you need to learn for this song. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a fellow YouTuber, Charlotte June, lending her beautiful vocals to this playthrough. If you want to check out her cover of this song, then I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Separate. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.